Welcome back everyone, iOS 15.3 has randomly came out today and let's take a look at it on the iPhone 7. Now here's the thing with iOS 15.3, it really wasn't a big update as far as I can tell from everything that I've been reading. It doesn't really seem like that big of an update. The size of it also was pretty average. We've been getting some like these big type of updates for the most part that really don't bring any features or anything. 758.3 megabytes on this iPhone. I don't know if this is for this one or the same one for the other one, but essentially this was the same size we were getting. And here's the thing, this update was a pretty big bug fix update, again, just like 15.2.1, and I think just like 15.2, although those updates brought some other features. As far as I can tell, this one doesn't bring anything crazy. Installation-wise, everything went fine. There was no issues in rebooting or anything, and it actually installed pretty fast. Uh, usually, it takes a little bit of time. This time around, it just kind of installed as fast as it could, which was really cool. Now, in terms of features, like I mentioned, I haven't really been able to see anything. Based on what everyone else is saying, there weren't any features. The main bug fix that it brought was actually within Safari. So there was a problem within Safari from before where pretty much some people were having issues or maybe there was a data leak of some sort, but that has now been patched. So there was essentially a way that some people could extract data from our Safari browser, but that has now been fixed within, you know, iOS 15.3. So that is a pretty big reason to update to 15.3 right there. There's been a couple other bug fixes here and there, but that was the major one. And ultimately, I mean, that's really the main reason why you should update. So the question is, should you install 15.3? I would say absolutely if you're on iOS 15 already. If you're on iOS 15, it may make sense to go to 15.3. And honestly, if you're on 14.8 or 14.8.1, depending on if Apple patches that specific problem with that version of software too, it may make sense to go to 15.3 as well. We really don't know yet. Apple's been a little bit you know, weird on the response to 14.8, 14.8.1. They said one second it's going to be supported and not. So with the iPhone 7, it's going to be getting iOS 15. It's going to be getting iOS 16 as well, at least while it's the rumor state. So even if you don't update to 15.3 right now, you will still have a long future ahead of it. And here's the thing, if you're on the iPhone 7, I would highly recommend updating to 15.3 if you're currently on iOS 15. If you're on 14, you know, you can stay there if you want, but the more secure versions now are 15.3 in my opinion. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.